Hello, I'd like to do a video on Christ, the word Christ. So I found if I do a Google search, it tells me it's a title and treat it as a name given to Jesus. It also gives an oath used to express irritation, dismay, or surprise. That's where we are today. Christ. If I take, if I go here and I go to Merriam Webster um, and Wikipedia, Wikipedia, excuse me, Wikipedia um, gives Christ used by Christians as both a name and a title unambiguously refers to Jesus. It is also used as a title in the reciprocal usage Christ Jesus, meaning the Messiah Jesus or Jesus the Anointed and independently as the Christ. The Wikipedia is actually not that bad that's put up here. I disagree with um, the Google preferred definition and the first dictionary, Messiah is decent, uh, Jesus, an ideal type of humanity. So we're going to, let's go into this definition deeper. First, if you search Christ uh, in Blue Letter Bible, Matthew 1.1 is the first mention in the King James Bible of that word. The verse is, the book of the generation of Jesus Christ, the son of David, the son of Abraham. So Christ is one of the first words in the New Testament, in the first book of the New Testament, in the first chapter of the New Testament, in the first verse of the New Testament is that word Christ. Now, that word is also important because if you go to, for example, Romans, uh, <clears throat> Romans 5, 8, um, it says, but God commendeth his love toward us and that while we were yet sinners, Christ died for us. It didn't say Jesus there. It didn't say Jesus Christ it says Christ died for us. So that's part, Romans 5, 8 is often uh, given as part of the gospel when uh, someone witnesses and explains to somebody what the Bible says about going to heaven. Romans 5, 8 is often one of the verses used. And notice specifically the name Christ is there, not Jesus and not Jesus Christ. So um, I, I went rather to uh, Webster's 1828 to look for a definition because I wasn't satisfied with Miriam Webster's or Google's um, main definitions, although I did think Wikipedia's was decent. If you go to Webster's 1828 Dictionary, Christ, the na uh, noun, the anointed. Notice the anointed is capital letters there because Christ is considered the New Testament word for the Hebrew uh, Messiah, which means the anointed. That is the core meaning of Christ. All right, it says here the anointed, an appellation given to the Savior of the world and synonymous with the Hebrew Messiah. It was a custom of antiquity to consecrate persons to the sacerdotal and regal offices by anointing them with oil. Okay. Um, let's go further into this. Uh, Blue Letter Bible. Let's look up that word anointed and see if we get Messiah out of that. 
So I looked through different things, and um, I remembered that Jesus had said, I mean, you do see if you go to anointed, you'll see like um, different words that contain uh, mash, you know, masa, masach, uh, which is like Messiah, uh, ha, as the root word. But I went to a verse that made, um, verses that made sense to me. Um, so if you see, thou shalt take the anointing oil and pour it upon his head and anoint him, um, that's this word here, Hama Shecha, um, which has as the root, uh, Mashecha, or, uh, you know, that word Messiah. It's still the root for that word, uh, anointing. Um, in Isaiah 61.1, 1, sorry for getting a little caught up there, it says, The Spirit of the Lord God is upon me, because the Lord hath anointed me to preach good tidings unto the meek. He hath sent me to bind up the brokenhearted, to proclaim liberty to the captives, and the opening of the prison to them that are bound. Those are, um, that was quoted by Jesus in the New Testament. And that word, anointed, is specifically that root, uh, ma mashach, that Hebrew word. You can hear it. Strong's H, 4886. Mashach. All right, mashach. let me put the microphone by that again. Strong's H, 4886. Mashach. Mashach. Okay, uh, I believe that is the word uh, Messiah. That's the root for that word Messiah. Um, in fact, maybe we'll look that up. Now, in the online etymology dictionary, it gives for Christ the anointed. It says it's synonymous with um, translating to the to the Greek Hebrew, Messiah, and it says see Messiah. So let's have a look at that. Messiah, a designation of Jesus as the Savior of the world, from late Latin Messiah, from Greek Messiah, from Aramaic Semitic Meshika, and Hebrew Messiah, the Anointed of the Lord from Masha, anoint. Okay, and that is the Hebrew that I showed you there, I believe. It is thus the Hebrew equivalent of Christ, and it is the word rendered in the Septuagint as Greek, Christos. See, Christ. So, um, I continued to look up that word, Christ, uh, in different definitions, and I went to the Oxford English Dictionary. Uh, one of the reasons I did that is I wanted to see how the King James translators thought of the word. So if you look up Christ in that original dictionary, and I'll link the archive.org download for this dictionary, um, it originally formed, it says here, Forms 1 to 5 are C-R-I-S-T, where they left the H out. Now, uh, and it says here it's a translation of Hebrew, uh, Mashiach. I think that's what that sounds here. Um, and it says the Lord's anointed. This word and its derivatives and cognates, including... Chrism and its derivatives were very rarely and perhaps only accidentally spelt with ch in Middle English, but this has been the regular fashion since 1500. In French, it began in the preceding century. 
the Messiah or Lord's anointed, whose advent was the subject of Jewish prophecy and expectation only in versions of the New Testament and direct references to it, in the Geneva and 1611 versions often preceded by the. And it shows here, it gives some references where Christ came up and what year, 950 A.D., 1160 A.D. Um, it also says the title given to Jesus of Nazareth, as embodying the fulfillment of messianic prophecy and expectation since the earliest Christian times treated as a proper name. It's used as a common noun with reference to the character or office of the Christ as a divinely appointed ruler and savior. It's used in versions of the Old Testament as a rendering of El Christus, applied to divinely appointed rulers, and it says here equals anointed. Um, let me go back to Edom Online a second, if I could find it in all my links here. It's amazing that I'm not getting lost. Um, it says uh, here, uh, it was treated as a proper name in Old English, but not regularly capitalized until the 17th century. The pronunciation with long I is result of Irish missionary work in England in the 7th and 8th centuries. So that term Christ goes way back to only a couple hundred years after Jesus Christ. The CH form, regular since 1500 in English, was rare before. Um, the Latin term drove out Old English Haland, healer, savior, as the preferred descriptive term for Jesus. Um, it's also, it does mention that it's an oath or strong exclamation uh, attested in 1748. So they started using it as a uh, as an exclamation, apparently, around then. All right, let's go back to that term, Christ, now. Okay, let me go back to the Oxford English Dictionary. Uh, Christ, it says the Messiah, or Lord's anointed, whose advent was the subject of Jewish prophecy and expectation. Now, let me draw a connection to the gospel so, 1 Corinthians 15. All right. In 1 Corinthians 15, it says, Moreover, brethren, I declare unto you the gospel which I preached unto you, which also ye have received, and wherein ye stand, by which also ye are saved, if ye keep in memory what I preached unto you, unless ye have believed in vain. For I delivered unto you, first of all, that which I also received, how that Christ died for our sins according to the scriptures, and that he was buried, and that he rose again the third day according to the scriptures. Okay, notice repeatedly in what people point to as the gospel, that it always says, according to the scriptures, according to the scriptures. And notice the uh, Oxford English Dictionary that was from around 1900 A.D. It's a historical dictionary. It says, whose advent was the subject of Jewish prophecy and expectation. Um, I want to say that I feel like Christ is a reference to who... Uh, and notice it says here how that Christ died for our sins, not Jesus, not Jesus Christ, but Christ and according to the scriptures. So I feel like the name Christ is a reference to the biblical Jesus. Like there can be many types of Jesus, but I, I believe 
that Christ is not a reference to saying that Jesus is God, although you can argue that from Scripture, but that Christ is the Christ as the one in Scriptures, the anointed one, the one from God, the one who was predicted in the Scriptures. Um, the Scriptures does say... Okay, Colossians 2, 8 and 9 says, Beware lest any man spoil you through philosophy and vain deceit after the tradition of men, after the rudiments of the world, and not after Christ. Notice it doesn't say Jesus there. It doesn't say Jesus Christ, but like in the gospel, it says Christ. And in Colossians 2, 9, it says, For in him dwelleth, all the fullness of the Godhead bodily. It doesn't say the words Jesus is God there. It doesn't say anything but that in him dwelleth all the fullness of the Godhead bodily. That's everything that God is you get in Christ bodily. In, G in, in Jesus Christ. But I'm, again, I'm pointing to the fact that the name Jesus is not here. It says Christ here. And Colossians 2.10, And ye are complete in him, which is the head of all principality and power. Amen. So, so that is Christ. Christ is the Messiah, the Anointed One. Jesus Christ. Christ is the one that Scripture tells you who he is. He is not the one that some other man says he is. He is not uh, what some religious group it doesn't matter whether you're talking about Roman Catholics or Mormons or Jehovah Witnesses or Methodists or Baptists or Independent Baptists or even Ruckmanites say. It matters what the Bible says Christ is. Thank you for listening.